for checking up. Dr. Kelly Oloch is uh, the Chief Executive Officer of uh, the Kenya Medical Training College. Your time is well appreciated, Dr. Thanks for making time on the broadcast for this brief discussion. Thank you. Then this is in relation largely to the Medical Training College's contribution to what uh, the present administration and has been the goal of every administration is the drive towards universal healthcare coverage for Kenyans to access quality healthcare that is affordable. I mean, how instrumental are you in this journey for Kenyans to get to achieve that goal? Thank you so much. About Kenya Medical Training College, this is a state parastatal under the Ministry of Health. Uh, established in 1927, we have over 96 years of experience in training human resources for health. Uh, KMTC has uh, three mandates. First, uh, training. Second, research. And third, uh, consultancy. KMTC produces over 85% of human resources yeah. for health yeah. in the country. Um, in the just concluded uh, uh, graduation, KMTC graduated 22,695 graduates. Yeah. Basically, this is very instrumental to the government uh, in the bottom-up economic transformation agenda yeah. in that we are then able to support primary health care mm -hmm. and universal health coverage through provision of human resources for health who are skilled, who are available at community level, who understand the principles of primary health care, yeah. and who are going to improve the health uh, indicators in the country. Mm -hmm. and, and that seems to be very key because uh, the provision of 85% of the country's health care workforce, I mean, does this have specifications in terms of what number ends up in the private sector and the public sector? Because the public is where much of the attention is at the moment in terms of uh, the quality of medical care and uh, the required attention. So what percentage goes to each side? We do not have uh, proper statistics on what percentage goes where. But what it, uh, the available uh, numbers are that we are capable of supplying human resources for public uh, sector consumption and uh, human resources for private sector consumption, including mm -hmm. uh, making available additional human resources for export. And so what we do at KMTC is calibrate requirements of uh, um, counties with our training opportunities. Uh, we work very closely with counties to be able to know what kind of human resources they want and calibrate our admissions and opportunities to support counties to do that. Mm -hmm. Additionally, we uh, get uh, re requests from private sector and we incorporate those in our training requirements. One of the challenges facing the universal healthcare coverage is uh, the shortage in terms of personnel. Mm -hmm. How do you intend of this 85% that you churn out to the market to be instrumental in the drive towards the goal of UHC? KMTC has a new strategic plan that is 2023-2028, uh, part of which is quality training. And in quality training, we are looking at also being able to supply the human resources required in terms of numbers to counties and uh, private sector. Mm -hmm. So in the, in the quality of training, we have emphasized on uh, improvement of facilities, improvement on equipment, improvement on the number of uh, lecturers that we will be having. And with this, we hope to create more opportunities for Kenyans to apply at KMTC yeah. and create more opportunities for Kenyans to learn at Kenya Medical Training College with the aim of ensuring that we have sufficient numbers uh, being employed by the counties. Another conversation we are having is engaging counties on the importance of having appropriate numbers of human resources for health, on the importance of having um, stre stressing the yeah. primary health care yeah. uh, kind of um, approach and being able to supply human resources who are calibrated towards supporting primary health care. Mm -hmm. And besides the provision of uh, health care workforce that uh, KMTC does, what other role do you play in terms of assisting with health care policies and setting up the systems towards the universal health care coverage goal? We play two further roles. Number one is research. Uh, KMTC does uh, operational researches that inform the curricula that we make in order to uh, make them relevant to the changing needs of uh, the healthcare environment. We also, out of this research, we get policy uh, uh, directions that we discuss with various stakeholders in order to make them possible to be implemented.
Thirdly, we also do um, consultancy services. For example, we train uh, for counties in terms of gaps that have been identified in the human resources for health that they have and create curricula that are short courses yeah. that uh, address policy issues. Eventually, we also do policy advocacy by interacting with uh, policy makers at various levels to support mm -hmm. uh, policy directions that uh, then uh, create impact in mm -hmm. the community and help uh, the government achieve its agenda. Mm -hmm. And besides being a leading healthcare uh, training institution, what, what other roles can KMTC play in what appears to be a changing global trend in terms of healthcare? There are several roles that KMTC is currently playing. Like uh, there is great change in terms of technology that we are using right now. There is a need for supply of human resources for health at the global arena. And KMTC is now better placed more than ever to address the changing needs of global healthcare. Yeah. For example, right now what we're doing in the institution is uh, add additional requirements for those who are graduating. Like, add options for foreign languages like Arabic, German, yeah. and French, so that in addition to supplying local health workforce, then we are also able to supply global uh, stage with human resources for health that are calibrated, fit for purpose, for various countries which need human resources for health. So we have those kinds of discussions in order to not only supply our local market, but also be able to support uh, global markets that need human resources for health. The pandemic in 2020, and which started in 2019, literally inundated healthcare systems across the world. Ours wasn't an exception either. I mean, how, how does the institution that you lead play a part in terms of foreseeing such circumstances and be in a position to be a responsive institution that helps in our healthcare system and prevent it from a total collapse, as was the case witnessed when the pandemic had hit the world? There are so many things that KMTC is doing in order to, uh, to, to support the country in such pandemics. Just let me mention that in the pandemic that has just passed, KMTC played a very big role in converting its facilities into quarantine and isolation facilities. Uh, we learned a lot of lessons from being part of this discussion. Number one, we learned that uh, the institution needs to be more adaptable, innovative, and be able to react uh, to changing environments. We also learned uh, as an institution that there is need for us to have curricula that address emerging uh, trends. For example, in that period of time, we were able to support counties through development of short courses that would help us to prevent uh, uh, infections and transfer of those infections to other people. Yeah. So with that, we learned that the institution needs to uh, uh, adapt to technology. And therefore, during that period of time, the institution experienced a big improvement in terms of the way we address and use technology. For example, e-learning platforms, uh, skills lab that are technology driven, um, and uh, basically use of uh, internet to take advantage of uh, scarce resources that uh, we have. So as an institution, it, learn, it made us to learn about adaptability of the institution, embracing of technology, and use of those technologies to help the institution grow going forward. Mm -hmm. and, and primary healthcare revolves around holistic approach and uh, other than uh, curative, also it focuses on preventive and promotive aspects of the goal towards universal healthcare coverage. What is then, for example, KMTC's role here in terms of providing holistic approach which is well rounded in aiding the deliver of that much touted goal that in previous administrations we have been unable to attain but appears that uh, there is the right footing now to attain that goal okay KMTC uh, has uh, ability to develop its own curricula mm -hmm. so we develop curricula right now that are focused towards uh, the areas of preventive, promotive, and curative healthcare. And what we do currently is to make sure that our graduates are able to work at community level through um, rural attachments, working with facilities at community level, 
and being part and parcel of uh, community-driven strategies that then help the country to address challenges before they become real problems in communities. So what we do as an institution is develop robust curricula that are adaptable, that make us be able to address the emerging needs at community level. Mm -hmm. How key is uh, the uh, question of uh, records of patients and uh, this to forestall and, and have one systemized healthcare system where information can be accessed from all parts of the country. And how key is that in, in the drive towards attaining universal healthcare status? One of the pillars of, um, of healthcare is uh, information systems. Uh, and the use of those uh, health information systems to drive decision making at uh, our facilities and at policy level. So having a unified way of collecting, collecting, and using information uh, uh, that are derived from healthcare provision is very key to such a country like ours. For example, number one, there's need for adaptability of that information to local needs of communities. Mm -hmm. For example, if the prevalence of disease in a particular area and has been uh, collected through information that we get from our patients and then it is collected and put together. The importance of that is that we have uh, strategies that are specific to those communities and then we're able to have designed health promotion um, strategies that are targeting such communities. We have uh, interventions that sub target those communities and therefore it is it, it, it costs the government less when we use that information to uh, make strategies that are then able to be used for interventions for the such communities. And therefore, uh, information is very key. We cannot operate as a country without a unified information system in healthcare so that we're able then to make decisions that are cust uh, customized to communities that we serve. Mm -hmm. and, and how key? that information, the correlation process of that information of the language barrier that may exist or come, come into place, is that a barrier that can be addressed from policy perspective in terms of to drive towards the getting the exact information that is required for accuracy purposes? Uh, at Kenya Medical Training College, we have a course called Health Information uh, uh, systems and record systems. Uh, in this, uh, we produce uh, professionals who are able to collect information that are then can be then translated to relevant communities wh wherever they are and wherever they are. And so what is important is being able to correct, collect the right information, mm -hmm. being able to synthesize that information and then communicate it for decision making at those uh, contexts that they are, the, the information has been collected. So what is key is the kind of skills that we have in terms of human resources that are able to collect that information, store it, and make sure that it is available for decision making, and then eventually be used for those communities to make decisions that are relevant. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, cadres at Kenya Medical Training College, like human, uh, the, the health uh, records and information system, health promotion, that are then able to translate the collected information into, uh, package it into such a way that communities are able to consume that information. Mm -hmm. Dr. Kelly Oluwoch, the Chief Executive Officer of the Kenya Medical Training College, thanks for your time here and the uh, brief discussion on the role played by the Training College and uh, its uh, relevance to the goal towards the attaining of universal healthcare uh, coverage that uh, the government says will help in the alleviation of burden on the shoulders of many Kenyans in terms of financing aspect, the preventive mechanisms and how this will be a primary healthcare system model towards up until the referrals where the data will be collated for purposes of medical attention. Your time is all appreciated. Thank you. Thank you so much. For Thanks to you too for watching the broadcast and waking up with us here on Daybreak. The hashtag on X has been Daybreak. The SMS code is 22422. Up next is Safin Achieng. Oh, stay tuned.